Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. In the previous tutorial we made a honeycomb model. You can watch this tutorial before going on. In this tutorial we'll make a honey simulation using blender fluid simulation. Let's get started. We need a liquid domain for the simulation. Press shift A and add a cube. Press Z key to switch to wireframe mode. Switch to the top view, hit the S key, and scale down the domain. The domain should be as small as possible so that contains the plate and honeycombs. Switch to the front view and scale down the domain on the Z-axis. Move the domain up on the Z-axis. Alright, with the domain selected, click on the Physics Properties tab and add Fluid Physics. Switch the fluid type to the domain and the domain type to the liquid. We're going to make liquid domain settings for a little later. You can watch the tutorial about liquid domain settings from the top link. All right, let's add an inflow object to emit liquid particles. Add a UV sphere. Scale down the sphere and move up. Add fluid physics for the sphere. Switch the fluid type to flow, flow type to liquid, and flow behavior to inflow. Select the liquid domain and set the resolution division value to 64 so we can have a more precise and thinner liquid. When we play the simulation, we can see that the sphere emits liquid particles along the simulation, but the liquid just flows like water. It doesn't behave like honey. As you know, honey is a thicker liquid than water, so it flows slower than water. In other words, honey has a higher viscosity than water. Scroll down to the viscosity section and enable it. Set the viscosity strength value to 0.25. Play the simulation again. As you can see, the liquid has become thicker. It doesn't spread out all over the domain just like water. The simulation playback is very slow. It is because we use the replay cache type. It bakes and replays the simulation at the same time. We're going to switch the cache type before baking the final simulation. We need to make the honey collide with the combs and the plate. Select the honeycombs and press Ctrl J to make them join together. Add fluid physics for the honeycomb. Switch the fluid type to the effector, and the effector type will be collision. In the same way, select the plate and add the collision property. We can see that the honey collides with the combs. All right, let's animate the sphere now. Select the domain and click on the monitor icon to disable the simulation in the viewport. Select the sphere and switch to the top view. Hit the G key and move the sphere to any beginning point. Go to frame 30. I want the sphere to stay fixed until frame 30. Hit the I key and add a location keyframe at frame 30. Enable the auto keyframe option. Go to frame 80. Move the sphere to the other side. In the same way, add other keyframes. Disable the auto keyframe option. All right, let's bake the simulation now. Select the domain and enable the fluid simulation in the viewport again. Scroll down to the cache section and choose any folder you want to save your simulation data. The simulation will start from frame one and end at frame 250. So we'll leave these values as they are. Switch the cache type to all so we can bake the liquid data and mesh data at the same time. Don't forget to enable the mesh option. Click on the bake all button. It may take a longer time based on your computer's specifications. The baking process has been done. Press Z key to switch to solid view and play the simulation. There we go. Right click and make shade smooth. It's time to add materials and get render. Switch to the shading workspace. Switch to render preview mode. 
Click on the Render Properties tab and be sure that you use the Cycles Render Engine. Set the viewport maximum sample number to 32. Set the render maximum sample number to 32 for faster rendering. We're going to use environment texture for lighting. Go to the World Properties tab, click on the color node, and choose environment texture. Click on the open button and choose the HDRI image. I will share the download link in the video description. Set the strength value to 4. With the honey mesh selected, click on the new button to add a new material. Rename the material as Honey. Select the principled shader and delete it. Add a glass shader. Plug the shader into the material surface. Pick the yellow color. Turn the roughness value up a little bit. Set the IOR value to 1.5 for Honey. That's it. Select the Honeycomb and add new material. Rename the material as Honeycomb. Pick the base color as yellowish. Set the subsurface value all the way up to 1. Pick the subsurface color as orange. Subsurface scattering simulates semi-translucent objects in which light rays enter, bounce around, then exit in a different place. For example, human skin. Select the plate and add new material. Delete the principled shader and add a glass shader instead of it. We can also make a transparent background. Go to the Render Properties tab, scroll down to the Film section, and enable the Transparent option. Also, enable the Transparent Glass option. That's it. Go to the Color Management section and switch to Medium High Contrast. Alright, it's time to get Render. Add a camera. Press Ctrl, Alt Numpad 0 to align the camera to View. Hit the N key to open the right panel. Click on the View tab, Enable the Camera to View option, so we can adjust the honey plate in the camera view. Disable the Camera to View option again. Click on the Output Properties tab. Set the resolution to 1080 pixels. Scroll down to the Output section and choose any folder you want to save. Switch the file format to MPEG and container type to MPEG4. Go to the Render menu and render animation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.